Ever felt like you were doing a clumsy salsa routine when trying to negotiate your salary? You're not alone. Imagine this. You're on the dance floor of financial negotiations and it feels like everyone else is doing a well-coordinated tango while you're just tripping over your own feet. You're not sure when to step forward, when to step back, or even when to just hold your ground. It's a dance fraught with fear of overstepping, of selling yourself short, or even worse, of hearing that dreaded phrase, we'll be in touch. It's not just you though. Many people find themselves doing the awkward salary shuffle, feeling like they're tap dancing on a tightrope. But here's a little secret. Everyone's improvising. There's no perfect routine, no one-size-fits-all choreography to this dance. But don't worry, we're about to turn your two left feet into a salary negotiation rumba. First things first, do you know what you're worth? And no, we're not having an existential crisis here. We're talking about your monetary value in the professional world. It's like knowing the price tag of a designer dress before you haggle at a posh boutique. You wouldn't want to pay a fortune for a knockoff, would you? Let's break it down into three key areas. First up, research the industry standards. This means, get a sense of the average salary for your role in your specific industry. There are numerous online resources that can help you with this. It's like being on a treasure hunt, but instead of a pirate's booty, you're after the golden nugget of your worth. Next, evaluate your skills and experience. What makes you unique in the job market? Maybe you've got a knack for crunching numbers faster than a supercomputer. Or perhaps you're a coding whiz who can debug faster than you can say syntax error. Whatever your unique skills are, they add to your value. Finally, understand the worth you bring to the company. This isn't about being boastful or arrogant. It's about knowing how your role contributes to the company's overall success. Are you the glue that holds the team together? Or maybe you're the innovative thinker who always comes up with out-of-the-box solutions. The key here is to be realistic, but not sell yourself short. If you're a newbie, it's unlikely you'll be raking in the big bucks straight away. But if you're a seasoned professional with a proven track record, you deserve to be compensated accordingly. So, put on your detective hat, do your homework, and get a clear idea of what you're worth. It's a crucial step in the salary negotiation process. And trust us, it's far more satisfying than finding out the hard way that you've been undervalued. Remember, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to dancing the salary negotiation cha-cha. Timing is everything, right? Well, it's no different when it comes to salary negotiation. When you're dancing the delicate dance of dollars, the rhythm is just as important as the steps. Knowing when to bring up salary negotiation can be the difference between a successful conversation and a missed opportunity. So, when is the right time? Well, hold your horses, don't jump the gun. You don't want to start discussing salary before you've even landed the job. It's best to wait until you've received a job offer, that's your cue. The stage is set, the spotlight is on you and it's time to make your move. Another golden opportunity is during an annual review. You've proven your worth, showcased your moves, and now it's time to negotiate your encore. So remember, just like in a well-choreographed dance, timing is crucial. Timing isn't just crucial in a waltz, it's also key to a successful salary negotiation. Ever heard of the saying, it's not what you say, but how you say it? Yep, that applies to salary negotiation too. Now let's delve into the nitty-gritty of being assertive versus aggressive. Picture this. You're at a restaurant. An assertive diner might say, excuse me waiter, my steak is undercooked. Could you please have it done a bit more? An aggressive diner, on the other hand, might say, What is this? I can't eat this. Take it back and fix it right now. See the difference? Both diners have the same issue, but their approach to resolving it varies significantly. In the world of salary negotiation, it's the same principle. Being assertive means you're confident and clear about your expectations. You communicate your worth, your skills, and what you bring to the table without devaluing the other party. You're not just saying, I want more money. You're saying, based on my experience and the market rate, I believe a fair salary would be. On the flip side, being aggressive might look like demanding a higher salary without justification or trying to bully your way to a better pay package. This approach can leave a bad taste in the employer's mouth, and that's not the flavor we're going for. Remember, negotiation is a two-way street. It's not just about what you want, but about reaching a mutually beneficial agreement. So how do you navigate this road without veering into the aggressive lane? First and foremost, keep emotions at bay. This is a business transaction, not a personal affront. Second, be respectful and understanding. Your potential employer also has a budget and constraints to work within. And third, practice empathy. Put yourself in their shoes. 
How would you react if someone came at you with guns blazing versus presenting a well-reasoned argument? So keep your cool and remember, you're not demanding a ransom, you're negotiating a salary. Now, let's talk about the secret weapon in salary negotiation benefits. Picture this, you've just aced the interview and you're sitting across from your prospective employer who's just made you a job offer. The salary seems fair, but before you shake hands and seal the deal, remember there's more on the table than just the pay package. Benefits are the unsung heroes of compensation. They might not shine as brightly as cold hard cash in your bank account, but they have a significant impact on your quality of life and job satisfaction. Think of them as the secret ingredients in your compensation cocktail. They might not be the main spirit, but they add that extra kick that turns a good deal into a great one. Consider vacation time. Who wouldn't love an extra week or two to explore the world, unwind, or simply binge watch their favorite show? Negotiating additional vacation days can add significant value to your overall compensation package. Now let's think about flexible hours. In a world where work-life balance is becoming increasingly important, the ability to work from home or adjust your schedule can be a game changer. It's not just about convenience but also about reducing stress and increasing productivity. Professional development opportunities are another crucial element. This could be anything from attending industry conferences to enrolling in courses, or even pursuing further education. Remember, investing in yourself is the best investment you can make. And having an employer who supports that? Priceless. And don't forget about health insurance, retirement contributions, stock options, and the list goes on. Each of these elements can add thousands of dollars of value to your compensation package. So the next time you're at the negotiating table, don't just focus on the salary. Ask about the benefits. Explore your options. And remember, sometimes the value of a job offer isn't just in the paycheck, but in the perks that come with it. Remember, there's more to compensation than just the dollar sign. We've all heard it before, practice makes perfect. And yes, that includes salary negotiation too. Imagine this, you're a musician and you've got a big concert coming up. Would you show up without having practiced your pieces? Of course not. It's the same with salary negotiation. Start by practicing your negotiation skills in low-stakes situations. Maybe you negotiate who does the dishes tonight or where your family is going for dinner. Then move up to more serious negotiations. As you practice, remember to stay confident. It's okay if you stumble or make mistakes, that's part of the learning process. You're not just practicing negotiation, you're also building resilience. Now, let's talk about handling common responses. If an employer says, that's the best we can do, don't just accept it. Ask, is there room to discuss other aspects of the compensation package? So, keep practicing, and soon you'll be twirling through your salary negotiation like a pro. Well, that's our dance lesson for the day. How to negotiate your salary like a pro. Let's do a quick two-step recap of the moves we've learned. First, we learned the salary dance, where you should never be the first to name a number. Remember, it's a dance, not a race. Then we moved on to knowing your worth because, hey, you're fabulous and your salary should reflect that. We also talked about the art of timing. Timing is everything in dance and it's everything in salary negotiations too. In our Be Assertive Not Aggressive segment, we reminded you that it's okay to stand your ground but don't step on your partner's toes. And finally, we discussed that you can negotiate more than just salary. Benefits, vacation time, flexible hours, it's all part of the dance. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tips on how to navigate your career. Until next time, keep dancing to your own beat.